Welcome to the first Tech Challenge 2020-2021 season game, Ultimate Goal, presented by Qualcomm. Part of the first Game Changer season, powered by Star Wars Force for Change. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a coach, a human player, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool, but may expand after the match begins. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Each alliance is allowed only one human player. Your opponents for one match may be your partners for another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Five unique navigation images are located around the field perimeter. At one end are two tower goals, each containing three Alliance-specific goals with return racks. Between the two tower goals are three red and three blue power shot targets. There are two red and two blue taped start lines, and three red and three blue target zone goals. Red and blue tape squares indicate starter stack locations, and a white launch line divides the field. Outside of the field walls are the two alliance stations and two human player stations. The primary game element is a ring, approximately five inches in diameter, and three quarters of an inch thick. A match is played with 20 rings. There are two red and two blue wobble goals. These can have rings scored onto them and can be moved for additional scoring. Before each match, teams place their robots on the field, touching the front wall and over one of their alliance's starting lines. Each robot must be touching or be in possession of a wobble goal. A robot may possess or touch up to three rings. After the robots are in position, field personnel will randomize the starter stacks into one of three configurations. This determines which target zone goal is active in the autonomous period. Zero, one, or four rings correspond to target zone goals A, B, or C, respectively. Unused rings are stored in the human player stations to be deployed to the field at the start of the driver controlled period. The players and field are ready. Each match begins with a 30 second autonomous period. During this period, there are a number of ways for teams to score using only pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Delivering a wobble goal to the correct target zone earns the Alliance 15 points. A robot parked over the launch line earns five points. Each ring launched or placed into the low goal earns three points. A ring launched into the mid goal earns six points, and launching into the high goal earns 12 points. Robots earn 15 points for each power shot target knocked down. Robots must be completely within the launch zone to launch rings into the mid-goal, high-goal, or power shot targets. Following the autonomous period is the two-minute driver-controlled period. During the driver-controlled period, human players are expected to return rings to the playing field, as well as reset power shot targets. Each ring launched or placed into the low goal earns two points. A ring launched into the mid-goal earns four points. However, rings launched into the opposing alliance's goal earn points for their alliance. A ring launched into the high goal earns six points. The last 30 seconds of the driver-controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may continue scoring rings but there are also ways to earn bonus points. Each knocked down power shot target earns 15 points. Returning a wobble goal to the start line earns five points. Each ring fully supported by the wobble goal earns five points. 
If a robot lifts a wobble goal over the front wall into the drop zone, its alliance earns 20 points. There are many ways to score an ultimate goal, but there are also rules that if not followed will deduct points from your alliance. For example, a robot may not block another for an extended period. A robot may not possess more than three rings at a time. A robot may not launch rings over the side or front perimeter walls. A robot may not intentionally tip another robot at any time. This has been a brief summary of the Ultimate Goal game. For complete rules, please read the entire game manual and check the Q&A forum. For more information on our remote season, including gameplay and field requirements, please make sure to visit our game and season webpage for the full library of remote event documentation. And always remember the most important rule of First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck teams and have a great season.